Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bhumisit. In this video, we'll cover top 10 snowflake intro questions. Already last video we published like top 10, again we'll select another set of top 10 questions. Okay, these are very, very important for intro. Okay, so those who are preparing for intro, try to take a look at these questions. Now we'll see first question. So what are the first question again? Okay? Does truncate is DDL or DML in snowflake? Anybody can able to answer? So if you see normally like okay in our development database like okay see what I get a thing no okay DDL is a like truncate is a DDL statement but in Snowflake no, it's a truncate is a DML data manipulation line we can able to roll back the chains okay so see one more time okay truncate is a DML statement in Snowflake we can able to roll back that okay hope this is clear now this is the second question the second question is what can we clone external table or not cloning is that is nothing but what it's a taking a backup of a table okay so now what's the question can we clone external table okay so we cannot able to clone external table so the answer is no okay so external table cannot be cloned okay and also the next question so next question is want how will you call the snowflake processor okay so this is very very important okay so how can you call a snowflake processor by using so we should use the call keyword okay call and the processor name okay so by using this we can able to call the process okay call and the processor name and brackets are important okay so open bracket and close bracket is important okay if you have like arguments you can able to pass the arguments okay call processor name this is very very important now we'll see this next question next question is want okay union versus union or which one is faster okay so before that you should know what is union and union union and union are both a set operator okay so union or what it will do it will simply club the result set whereas union what it will club the result set as well as it will perform it will eliminate duplicate requests okay it will be only unique requests okay so that you can what is the requirement okay which out of this union union all which is faster so union all is faster why because it will simply club the result set whereas union no it will club the result set as well as it will eliminate the duplicates okay hope this is clear okay it's only perform one operation whereas it will club the result set as well as it will eliminate the duplicates then what it say like okay it's an extra operation is what it's an expensive operation so that work so union analysis is faster okay hope this is clear next question is what okay so what are the metadata fields in information like in streams okay so like there are three columns in like in metadata in streams okay what are the three columns okay so metadata dollar action metadata dollar is update and metadata row id okay see by this we can able to okay by this by using this action keyword we can able to say like a whether it's an insert or delete okay by using this we can able to write say update or not updated so this is a row id okay so these three fields are very very important okay so this streams are nothing but it is used to for cdc change data capture okay so see these three columns are very very important metadata dollar action so by this we can able to figure out like whether it's an insert or delete okay so by this field we can able to say it's an update or not okay so it will be boolean data true or positive there okay so what about this one metadata role ID? for every option there will be one row id will be there okay so these are streams okay this is for cdc change data capture okay in a similar fashion we'll see the next question so when we make any changes that's not by dml so change clone table does it get reflected on base table okay so suppose like if you perform any clone on the base table okay suppose i am having employee table okay i i try to clone employee backup as a clone table. Then what saying okay if any changes happen on the dml clone table it will get reflected on you see so it's an answer is no because both are independent tables okay it cannot be reflected in the base tables or it cannot be reflected in the clone table okay both are independent to each other okay so get to the point so understand what cloning is nothing but what it's a backup table of the base table okay suppose if we do any changes what happened it won't reflected in any of the both are what okay both are independent to each other hope this is clear in a similar fashion so when we create task by default what is the status of it okay so like tasks are nothing but it's a scheduler in snowflake okay so when we create any task now what happened by default what is the status will be there it will be in suspended status okay see one more time okay when you create any task before this task is there say okay like it's a scheduler like uh, like every one hour i want to do something okay like every okay 10 every 10 hours i want to do like job or like process i want to execute so like it can be automatically by using task okay so by default when you create any task what happened it will be in suspended status okay so now what, what happened if you want to start we should use alter statement to resume this task okay so by default it will be in suspended status okay if you want to make this one task we need to resume this task by using alter statement okay hope oh, this is clear okay in a similar fashion this is the next question can we create multiple streams on a single table okay again what streams are nothing but it's a cdc concept change data capture okay so what is our question okay can we create multiple streams on single table or not okay yes we can able to create 
streams on multiple okay single table you can able to create multiple streams okay so we can able to create on single table can able to create multiple streams okay so there will be no issues okay next question is what does failsafe can be managed or accessed by snowflake developer snowflake developer in the sense like what also okay so he's asking what question is that does snowflake does failsafe can be managed or accessed by snowflake developers okay so it is not in our control okay so no answer is no because so failsafe is not in our control it's about in the it's a snowflake support team okay like the company snowflake they only can able to manage but we don't have the privilege to get it okay time travel you can able to manage but failsafe we can't able to manage okay this is under control of snowflake support team okay hope this is clear now next question is from okay can we access time travel on external table okay anybody so time travel is nothing but what accessing historical data okay so he's asking like can we access time travel on external table anybody so answer is no we cannot able to access the time travel on external table okay get the point sir so hope this is clear okay these are very very important okay so those who are preparing for interview try to like try to focus this question because these are questions are very very important okay if you like the content subscribe and share the channel thank you for watching